All right, Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And today I wanna to talk about Cozy Blanket 2.0. This is awesome, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retopologize a face from ZBrush, and then I'm going to lay out the UVs and bake it all inside of this program for the iPad, okay? So if I click on the um, top button up here, I can see that this is Cozy Blanket, and yes, that's the name of it, is Cozy Blanket. So if you go to the App Store, um, download Cozy Blanket. I believe, unfortunately, it is only for the iPad. If not, go ahead and leave it in the comments below, but that's how I understand it right now. Okay, so now they give you stuff to work with. So I feel like there's this frog here that you can practice all the techniques that I'm doing. and um, Or if you want to import a model from ZBrush, you can do that, and both of that's free. It's exporting it where you would have to pay, okay? So for example, if I click on this, I can see that there's this store button right there. So if I click on that store button, I can see that um, the light version, 20 bucks, allows you to export and um, you can import, actually you can import on the free one as well. And the st uh, standard is the $90 one. That's gonna give more kind of functionality and you can click on compare features and you can see there's just a whole list of features here. But before you even look into that, I feel like let's look at even if it's worth it, okay? So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import a model from ZBrush, I'm gonna retopologize it from scratch to its entirety, and then I'm going to lay out the UVs and bake it. So make sure you stay here all the way to the end to kind of see the entire process, okay? so. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So here's ZBrush, okay? And what I did was I just grabbed, I went to Lightbox, grabbed the demo head, and um, that's it. I'm just gonna go ahead and export this guy. Now, truth be told, I feel like he does have pretty good topology. Um, and what I mean by that is if we look at this, this is the goal of what I'm gonna create in Cozy Blanket. So let's pretend this guy had bad topology, and he could have bad topology for a number of reasons. Maybe it was a scan, maybe we use Dynamesh. Um, but again, I'm gonna just bring in this head here, and then I'm gonna kind of create this structure here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit export, and I'm gonna call this um, Cozy Blanket Head. Okay, and I'm gonna save it as an OBJ. Whoa, let me see. There we go. And I'll just go ahead and kind of save it on the desktop here. And then I feel like the easiest way to get that to um, your iPad is to actually email it to yourself. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to um, my Gmail. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to my email, okay? And I'm gonna say uh, face. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach that. So let's see, desktop, um, not the OneDrive, okay. Cozy blanket head right there. And I'm gonna get a preview there, okay, cool. I can see 3.5 megabits, that's fine. I'll go ahead and send it, and there it is, it's called face. So now I'm gonna to go to the iPad, okay? So if I come here, now if I swipe up from the bottom, whoop, go to the email, and then go here to all, just swipe down, there it is, face. And now I can go here, and I can click on that, and I can say save to files. And it's gonna ask me where, I'm gonna say on my iPad, and to Cozy Blanket, I'm gonna click Save. Awesome. Now, I'm gonna go back to Cozy Blanket, and you can see that the icon looks like this. Okay, cool. Now I'm in Cozy Blanket. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on the icon in the upper right-hand corner right here. I'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So yeah, that icon right there. And I'm going to navigate to this, okay? So if I go here, I can see on my iPad, that's where it is, there's a folder called Cozy Blanket, and I can see uh, Cozy Blanket head right there. Aha, there it is. 
So, great. Now I've got this in here. Now what? Okay. Well, first of all, to move around, I can just touch and you can see that you can see where I'm touching. Or if I have two fingers, I can zoom in. So I feel like kind of navigation is going to be really comfortable in here. Notice that we've got three buttons on the side here. This first button, RT, that's going to allow me to draw the topology. This next one, UV, okay, is going to allow me to lay out the UVs and then BK is going to allow me to bake it. So again, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to kind of zoom in here and I have the Apple Pencil and I can just kind of draw like that and you can see really cool stuff. If I need to edit it, look here, I can hold on that simultaneously. So if I go to tweak, I can um, whoop, hold down on tweak and now I can kind of move it like that. And I'm just gonna kind of continue this process. It, when I start, I'm gonna, I might kind of draw very literal. If I wanna add another one, I'm just gonna kind of um, swipe through the middle and then again, tweak. Whoop. There we go. Awesome. So I'm gonna start with the uh, loop around the eye. And again, what's the goal that I'm shooting for? Is this is my goal. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda of leave this in the upper corner here. I'm just gonna kinda of zoom out a little bit. And um, what, I'm, what I did there is I made a loop around the eye because I, I know that I want that. And if you make a mistake, double tap and it's gonna undo. Okay, now, I want to make another loop. So I'm going to draw another one. Again, tweak. There we go. Tweak. Kind of pull this down. In the beginning, this might seem like this is going to be a slow process, but as you're going to see very quickly is that this is going to be super fast. Okay. Again, I'm going to kind of tweak this, tweak this. Okay. Awesome. Maybe draw this over like that. And you can see here that if I click on this button up here at the top corner, that's my mirroring. So now you can see I have mirroring turned on. And I don't have to work on this side. If I go to this side, it'll activate that side. And I could continue on this side if I wanted to. Okay, awesome. And I can see that right in the center there, it's not really super close. So I can go again back to tweak and just kind of pull that over. There we go, nice. So now I can see that I've got um, a loop around the eye. So you can see the green loop. And if I wanted to kind of take that, I can just kind of draw on that edge and you can see it takes it as a color. And then I, I can take this one too. And you can see that that takes it as a color. So you can see that I've got uh, the green and the purple loop in the example there. And now I'm gonna continue the process. And my goal now is to create the orange loop that we're seeing there. So again, I'm gonna go like this. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of continue this one down here. Excellent. And now I'm gonna do the mouth loop as well. One thing that's important with the mouth loop is I'm gonna make sure that the corner is a point, okay? That, um, and I wanna make sure that it's a sidewalk, if you will, like following all the way around. I don't want it to kind of flow into a different direction. Okay, there we go. Now to connect these and kind of go like that. Whoop. And if I, again, if I want to undo, tap with two fingers and I undo. I can see that if I make a line like that, it's going to color code it and color code that loop. And those are my important loops that I want. Now it's just a matter of kind of connecting the dots here. So I'm just gonna kind of go like that, kind of help it to tell it where it's going. And it looks like that one's giving me a little bit of trouble, so I'm just gonna kinda leave that one for now. If I need another loop, I can drag through like that, and you can see how it made another loop. There we go. And here for the nose, I'm gonna kinda go like this. And 
giving me a little bit of trouble. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Again, if I want a loop, I can kind of go like that and it's going to make a loop. If I need to merge it, I'm going to take one, go back and forth like that. Again, go here and back and it's going to merge it. There we go. And I'm going to hit tweak, pull that like that towards the center. Excellent. Okay, looking really good. Again, tweak. There we go. Awesome. Now again, I need to kind of fill the rest of this in. And I think the hardest thing can be just kind of knowing what you want, you know, what the goal is. So I feel like having reference, well, having reference is going to be kind of key to having this done properly. Good reference of good topology. Okay, now I'm going to kind of, again, swipe through there. And I'm going to kind of split this off like that. I can even skip to and go like that. Again, I could even go like this and it does all of that. So it's really smart. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what I want, you know, kind of what my goal is here. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to kind of have a transition point at the top there. There we go. For the bottom, I'm just going to kind of go like this. I've noticed that kind of sometimes when you hit the middle line, it gives some errors. Um, if I if I don't want something, I just can do an X over it. X. There we go. Excellent. So now. So again, I just kind of do this one here to get us started. There we go, awesome. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And I think um, maybe I could even go like this. And then I could go like that. Awesome. And you can see that those lines aren't very even. I can go to the relax over here, this icon, and I'm gonna hold that simultaneously down as I just kind of paint over it. And you can, I'm just with the, you know, with the pencil. There we go. Really nice. And here, I'm just going to kind of start to do a transition. Otherwise, I'm going to kind of run into some problems. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of bring this uh, down like that. And then I'm going to have this. There we go. Let's get this one established. There we go. That's my transition point. And I also want a transition point uh, this way as well for the back of it. There we go. And if you're not interested in the topology, you just want to see, you know, even the other features, you could fast forward to um, see how to do UV layout, things like that. But I, I am actually almost done with this process. I'm making some big ones here. I can always add edge loops. So like for here, I can just go like that and like that. And now I feel like... There we go. And again, if I want to merge that, I can go here to here and back. There we go. Awesome. And 
I can see that that's not looking super clean, so I can click on the relax, and I'm just gonna go like that, and you can see how much nicer that works. Okay, awesome. Now I can kind of do clean things back here as well, kind of uh, establishing this idea of, again, if I, if I stay away from the center, I feel like it will it works a little bit better, kind of like, I could maybe go like this. Aha, look at that, that's cool. That was nice. Relax, just like this. Okay, awesome. And if I get some, um, like at the hair here, I'm just gonna kind of draw like through here and now it's gonna do a loop and then it can kind of relax and it's gonna kind of fit that a little bit better. There we go. And for the neck, I wanna kind of establish a new loop line. So I'm gonna use this as my transition point and now I have kind of um, an opportunity to make a nice loop here. There we go. Excellent. And if I color code that, I can just go like, the, uh, let's see, like, I should be able to draw on there. That's weird. Hmm. I'm gonna just continue this process. Excellent, there we go. Let me try one more. Yeah, see, I can just take that. And you can see that taking it with a color. I'm not sure why that one's not taken, but um, well, yeah, looking really good here. Again, I can go to um, relax and do that. Notice I skipped the ear. Um, I feel like I've, the ear, I'll show you what happens if you do skip the ear. If you want to do more, you could, but I feel like I'm just trying to show you what this program is all about. Um, again, loop through here if I want. Uh, maybe I'll leave it how it was. Relax. No, nope, don't want to do that. But I do want to, um, you know, kind of have the insides of the eyes closed. I mean, filled. There we go. That one looks good. And then here as well. Uh, let's see. Now, sometimes there could be um, weird things happening here. So sometimes you gotta just kind of move it to a better angle. There we go. Um, all right, that looks pretty good. Now let's look at UV mapping. So now I'm gonna jump to this button here where it says UV. And you can see that it looks like this, which is kind of, um, might be kind of weird. But if I draw a line down the center here, now I split it, here's my UV side, which obviously doesn't look very good. Whoa, looks like a mess. And this side, if I do an X, draw an X, it's going to unfold it. And now you can see that it, it did lay it out. Um, and now if I wanna cut out some things, like let's say I wanna cut out the eye, I can just draw where I want there to be a cut. And now it cut that, and I can see here, if I wanna grab that, I can, I can hold down tweak and I can move that out. I could also go down here. I could say, I want this to be cut. Again, hold down tweak. And sometimes with a little, really little pieces of this kind of tricky. There we go, I gotta kind of grab in the middle. Again, tweak. There we go, now I'll pull that up here. Okay, awesome. If I, just some etiquette here, if I swipe over here like that, this is gonna bring this one full screen. If I draw down the center, it's gonna be that way. If I swipe from this way over, whoop. so if I swipe from that way over to that way, it's gonna be this one full screen. Okay, so that's kinda cool. So now, just some etiquette here, if I hold down tweak, and if I grab it from the top, 
Or if I grab it from the middle, you can see I can move it anywhere like that. If I grab tweak and if I click towards the top, I can rotate the shell. And if I go tweak and if I grab from the bottom, I can come, come down here and I can uh, make it smaller. If I hold down tweak and here, if I just kind of um, pinch with my hand, I can kind of pinch and rotate um, and, and do it kind of like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use tweak again down here kind of scale it and then rotate that. And if I wanted it to be facing the other way, I could just, again, tweak middle mouse drag and there I'm kind of like that. The other thing I want to cut off is the neck. So I'm just going to kind of go like this. And you can see that I don't even have to go all the way around. I can just stop wherever I want. There we go. And it's going to only show a different color shell like down there if it's totally cut. Now I can see that it is a different shell I can tweak. And if I want to unfold this all, because now it can be relaxed, kind of quote unquote differently, I can just again do the X and it's going to be now relaxed again, kind of um, as best it can. So yeah, very cool. I can see that there's that kind of that seam down the center here. And if it looks like there's a seam like, oh, it's not connected, I can go back to RT and I can come here and I can kind of say tweak and I just I'm just gonna kind of pull that to close that That's something that I kind of overlooked there we go actually that looks pretty good go back to UV okay and again tweak I'm gonna come down here kind of rotate that Okay, notice it has these arrows, so we can kind of see the direction of the shell. For example, if it was flipped like, you know, if it was flipped around, it would be, um, I could see that that shell is upside down. Why would that be important? Well, let's say you had a wood grain or something, maybe you wanted things to be um, a certain way, just to easier to kind of line up. I can see that my neck is facing the other way. So again, super easy, I could just kind of flip that around. Otherwise, I may not know that, right? I should be able to also double tap. If I double tap in the center of one, I can just kind of move it like that. Um, and again, I could lay this down however I want. And let's say if I accidentally have a seam here, I can just draw over it like that and it sews it back together. Okay, cool. So I feel like I'm really liking, um, you know, how this is laid out. Let's say if I wanted to, for whatever reason work kind of vertex by vertex down here um, I can see I can click on this 246 and now I could literally grab um, I could click on move and I could grab these and I can kind of move them around I could also go to relax and relax it um, I could also tweak and I can move them kind of one at a time or if I click back on this one I'm, I'm more kind of on the shell Okay, the regular shell mode. And I feel like that is, uh, and again, I'm going to kind of hide, get this thing out there. There we go. Um, now I've got that. So now what? Okay, let's see. We've got this good topologized mesh. We have it laid out as we want. Ooh, and I can see that I don't really like how the checkers are kind of handling that. So I'm just going to kind of, again, do... Um, that and it's going to relay it out again now I can kind of tweak it again get to the right size and rotate it around okay awesome now all my checkers are looking good and again I feel like you could take more time on this process if you wanted to get a better layout kind of use more of the space but I feel like just enough to kind of get you started here now the next portion of what I want to show is how to bake it. So this last button here, the BK, if I click on this, I can see that I have the low poly mesh here and I have the high poly mesh on the, on the other side. And to bake it, it's super simple. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an X and it baked it. It's done. I can see that the ears aren't perfect, 
Uh, the ears aren't perfect because I didn't really have geometry for the ears. Um, I feel like it didn't obviously do any part lower, you know, on the neck because I didn't have geometry there. But I feel like what it's doing is it's doing its best to kind of project the high end poly detail onto my low poly mesh here. And um, really, really cool stuff. I can also do this. If I click on the move on this side, I can just move like this and I can see I'm rotating the lighting around to kind of check it. And if I was happy with this, I would just click up here at the top on this export. So if I click on export, now we would be able to export it. And again, I would need either the light for $20, I'd be able to export, or the standard, I would actually have more functionality in there. And if you wanted to see the difference, you can click on the compare features here. Um, again, I just think really, really neat that you can take it you know, this far um, and you can see that you can retopologize really kind of um, easily. You can lay out the UVs however you want, and then you can actually finish with baking. So I feel like this is a huge update for Cozy Blanket. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I feel like, again, this is when I'm recording this, this is brand new technology, so I'm just getting used to it as well. Um, and if you have any tips and tricks, Go ahead and kind of, again, leave it in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you later. All right, thank you.